I love a good wrap, not just for breakfast or lunch, but I tend to make them when I'm feeling like having a lazy dinner or I just need a quick little snack of something. Feel free to click like before we get started and maybe hit subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so this first wrap tastes both wholesome and fancy at the same time. It's filled with roasted veggies and this rosemary mayonnaise is so good. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius and cut your chosen vegetables into bite-sized pieces. I went with carrot, sweet potato, and a beet. Bring the beet in. Anything for you, Beyonce! I don't think I've ever cooked with raw beets before. Transfer the vegetables to a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and drizzle over some oil, chili flakes, some salt, and then pop this into the oven for about 30 minutes or until done and roasted. In the meantime, prepare the rosemary mayo. It's loosely based on a TikTok recipe I saw the other day. First, you chop up some garlic. Also grab some fresh rosemary. Then you add both to a small pot with some olive oil and then bring the heat to medium and let this cook for about four minutes. Then set that aside, letting the garlic and the rosemary kind of infuse the oil. Grab a small bowl, add the cooked garlic, followed by some vegan mayonnaise, some white wine vinegar, and if you wish, a pinch of extra salt. Now for a more intense rosemary flavor, grab the cooked rosemary and chop some of that finely as well, about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. Rosemary is quite intense, so it just depends on your preference. Now assemble the wrap. I'm using a whole wheat tortilla here. To the center, add a few spoonfuls of the sauce, then a few tablespoons of the roasted vegetables. And then I also added some fresh baby spinach. I pretty much always encourage you to toast the wraps as well for about two minutes on each side over medium high, just for them to crisp up nicely. Also, they hold much easier this way. You might have some extra sauce left over that you can dip these in as well. They're so good. For this next wrap, I followed one of your recipes. This is a super simple barbecue tofu wrap. This first step here is optional. I had put an entire block of firm tofu into the freezer the night before. Now, because I was a bit impatient and didn't want to wait for this to defrost on the counter for like six hours, I placed this into a deep dish plate and then into my oven, turning the heat to around 70 degrees Celsius. I kept it in there for a good 45 minutes to an hour. Halfway through, I removed quite a bit of water. Even squeezing it in the end and trying to get as much moisture out of this as possible. Like I said, you don't have to do the whole freezing thing. That can easily be skipped and you can just go ahead and start this recipe with some raw plain tofu. Fry the tofu chunks in some oil for about five minutes or until golden brown. Next, pour over some store-bought barbecue sauce and a little bit of white wine vinegar or lemon juice. Also add some nutritional yeast. Cook the tofu in the sauce for another five minutes or so. And then build the wrap. Add some vegan cream cheese or hummus, some of the tofu chunks, some chickpeas, some pickled onions, which go super nicely with the barbecue sauce, some vegan chili mayo, fresh spinach, highly recommend. Listen. 
Now for recipe number three, we'll be making our own wraps. Well, these are essentially crepe or pancakes made from chickpea flour, so they're gluten-free as well. To a large mixing bowl, add some chickpea flour plus salt and give that a good mix. Then add some water and a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Mix that up again until smooth. Then set that aside and leave it to sit for about 5 to 10 minutes. Next up, grab a nonstick skillet with some oil and bring that to medium heat. Once hot, add a fourth to a third of a cup of batter. When it comes to cup, ideally you would want them to be as thin as possible. Just play around with it. You will get better the more you're making. Cook each pancake for about one minute on each side. I, I do prefer them savory over sweet. I had these vegan chicken wing-esque bites in my fridge and so I cooked up some of those. And then to my crepe I added some vegan cream cheese for example, some avocado, a bit of tomato. But yeah, I would highly recommend. These are super super good, very satisfying as well. This person named Megusta Cat suggests a recipe for quinoa southwest wraps, and that sounded really good to me. Grab a small to medium saucepan and cook up about two servings of quinoa. Once it is boiling, you reduce the heat to medium low and allow that to simmer for about 15 minutes or until it's almost cooked through. And then you add some store-bought salsa and maybe a tiny bit more water. Place the lid back on and leave it to steam for another 5 minutes or so, or until the quinoa is done. I didn't have any corn, so we're going with black beans only. I also added some chili flakes because my salsa was not spicy at all. Also added some basil, which I had in my kitchen, but yeah, some cilantro would be really nice here as well. Then it's on to assembling the wraps. I started with some vegan sour cream here, a few tablespoons of the quinoa mix, then some fresh avocado, although you could also go the guacamole route. Then I also added some more of that vegan chicken, although that can be totally omitted. In the end, I'd also added some extra fresh chili. I don't know why I'm on this like really big spice kick at the moment, it, it might be all the sriracha that I'm consuming on a daily basis. Yeah, I, I think that kind of numbed my taste buds a bit. Or upped my spice tolerance, however you want to look at it. I've had this idea for breakfast summer rolls in my head for a while now. I actually almost put this recipe in my cookbook, but then went with these everything but the bagel kale summer rolls for the book instead. If you haven't checked out my cookbook All Day Vegan yet, I would highly suggest you do so. All the links and information is down below. It's amazing. Plug, plug. All right, let's make the tofu scramble first. Grab some extra firm plain tofu and crumble it up. Add some cornstarch, some salt and spices. Next, add the white wine vinegar, some plain soy yogurt, and some nutritional yeast. Bring a nonstick pan with some oil to medium heat. Add the tofu mixture and let that cook for 6 to 8 minutes. In the meantime, in a separate pan, I cooked up some store-bought vegan bacon, burning it to a crisp because I was multitasking on my phone. And by multitasking on my phone, I mean scrolling on Instagram while cooking. I will have my recipe for homemade vegan bacon linked in the description if you can find one in the stores. Anyway, on to assembling. Grab a deep dish plate with water and add one sheet of rice paper at a time. Submerge the rice paper in the water for just a few seconds. It's gonna soften up over time as we add things to it. 
I'm starting with some spinach here, then adding a few tablespoons of the tofu scramble, my piece of bacon, some vegan chili mayo, and some bagel seasoning. For demonstration purposes, I only made two here, but there's enough tofu scramble to create three to four wraps, I would say. But yeah, super yummy. Next up, we have another super quick and delicious snack idea. This one is by Fluffy Kittens. By the way, I'm loving all of your cat-themed usernames. Anyway, they are suggesting a sweet idea. A warmed small tortilla, I'm using a corn tortilla, plus some peanut butter, jam, and then that's it. You just roll it up like so, like a little pancake. If you have trouble rolling up the corn tortillas, you might have to warm them up just with a splash of water in a nonstick pan for a few seconds just giving the wraps a bit more moisture before you roll them because corn tortillas tend to be quite dry naturally. This is such a yummy, satisfying, sweet snack. I also made a second version of these, but this one uses vegan yogurt as the base. Then I added some fresh strawberries a drizzle of peanut butter, plus agave syrup, and a sprinkle of cinnamon. Yeah, these are honestly more so tacos than, than anything else. Now this last idea is more of an honorable mention because it didn't really work out for me, but that is 100% on me and, and not on the recipe idea in and of itself. The idea is by user Miao Zantropen. Basically, they have this idea of creating a wrap and then placing that into a waffle maker in order to toast up quickly and easily. Now, for some reason, I decided to go with a quesadilla type folding method. Turned out to be not my best work, let's just say that. Now, looking back at the comment, I'm pretty sure that they meant to just fold it normally like you would a regular wrap. And that is a wrap on today's wrap recipes. Thank you for watching. 